Professor Gray emphasized that we need to teach students how to choose the right grammatical form to serve the intended function. Form-function connections are exactly what the everyday grammar page of the Voice of America website teaches. These are great episodes for introducing how grammatical choices are made to convey particular meanings, like giving reasons. The teachers provide two common ways for giving reasons in English. They teach learners that they can use the conjunction because or the noun reason. They give a few examples, but that's not quite enough. After learning those two important grammatical forms for expressing reasons, you can go to a corpus and find lots of examples of real English. For example, in the corpus of Forum English, or coffee as we call it, you will find 93 examples of sentences that use because. What a great opportunity to expand your understanding of how because is used while you find some good examples for your students. You can also find examples of reason, but there are only five of them. 93 because to five reason. We can see which one is most popular. The numbers tell us which grammatical form is the preferred way for English speakers to express reasons. But the examples of reason are also very interesting. The five sentences are, but that's no reason to keep it out of reach. There were several reasons for this. But the 1980s and 1990s brought NPS cutbacks for various reasons. They need to learn English for specific reasons, such as medical or legal purposes. We call Hawaii the Aloha State for good reason. These examples show the patterns where reason fits in. No reason, several reasons, for various reasons, for specific reasons, for good reason. These are important patterns for students to learn so they can use their knowledge to explain reasons. After you show students how to analyze examples from the corpus, some will be eager to do their own searches. Searching for examples and analyzing the results is an important skill for language learners. Let's review the process. It starts with an interest in how to express something in English. First, you need to use the interest to ask a question. For example, how do English speakers express reasons? Or is walk always an intransitive verb? Sometimes the question comes from an error that students have made, a question that arises in class, or a grammar lesson from a book or the internet. Second, you search the corpus to find examples of language use that gives clues about your question. Third, you collect the examples from the corpus. Finally, you analyze the examples to find patterns of language use that answer your question. Often the analysis shows many interesting patterns and you think of more questions. I hope this example helps to show what Professor Gray means by teaching the form and function of grammar. In the next video, we'll see how Nergis uses technology to teach form and function in an advanced writing class.